What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. You guys have really been enjoying my sketch to vector videos so much that this video right here is actually still growing and I thank you guys for that so much. So I decided let's go ahead and let's do another one. So without further ado, let's jump into the illustration. All right, let's jump into this illustration. So the first thing I do, as usual, when I'm doing a sketch to vector is I gotta get the sketchbook out and uh, we gotta get the sketch drawn. So I came into this knowing I was gonna do an egg and the egg was gonna be pretty simple, but I wasn't just gonna do an oval. Um, I was talking to my wife telling her I was gonna do an egg and she's like, isn't that just an oval? And I was like, no, 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 we're gonna crack it open and we're gonna have the yolk and uh, all the stuff it breaking inside so it's gonna be actually interesting so once I did that I got my iPad out I took a picture dropped it in uh, Adobe Illustrator for iPad dropped the opacity down and I started getting the strokes done so this is probably my favorite part about using uh, iPad for Illustrator as opposed to like the desktop or procreate just because I love being able to use the pen tool and getting nice clean vector lines and that allows me to get the piece going and do what I need to do so as you see right here, I obviously I have the outline done. I, I pretty much have the shape. Everything is where it needs to be, but I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna add the shades and uh, some accent lines. And this is really gonna take the piece from, you know, just standard level to much better piece. So it's a pretty, pretty uh, simple design. I've only got four layers. Um, the egg layers or the shell layers and then the egg in the middle and then I have the, the sun coming from the bottom right or the light source coming from the bottom right and the shadow gonna, is going to be from the top left and this just helps give some depth um, makes the piece stand out a lot more and it just gives you a better feeling of cohesiveness uh, when you look at it I kind of struggled with this part right here I was getting the back side of the broken eggs just to give you some you know more dimension let you know that the egg is hollow on the inside and all of the contents have spilled out as you see below um, I finally got it where I wanted it though and uh, I think it looks good and I wasn't digging that orange background so I went and I got a blue background I thought it helped uh, pop the piece a little bit more and then one thing I kept noticing was there was just a lot there was too much white in the piece so I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna change those egg shells into like a brown egg I thought this helped give the piece a little bit more uh, dynamic it, it just made it look uh, a lot more interesting when you look at it all together and I'll do that here in a second right now I'm adding the shadows so from the inside of the eggshell, again, just to give you more depth. And here I finally, like I said, start turning the shells brown. And I really think that took the piece to where I wanted it to be and made me feel a lot better about it at the end. Well, there's the final piece, guys. I really like how this came out. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I do like how the piece came out. If you guys want this original file, or you just want the JPEG maybe for a background or a screensaver, I'll have that in my Discord. You can grab that for free and manipulate it, do whatever you want with it. It is yours to so do whatever you want with. Well, there's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. Check it out. If you guys want to get connected with me in this community, I'll have my Discord link below. That's a great place for us to chat and talk design. Well, guys, until the next one, peace.